Hello and welcome to my first tutorial on 123D Design. Um, 123D Design is a freeware application for 3D design uh, made by Autodesk. And I would like to show you some things on 3D modeling. Uh, as in many uh, CAD applications, uh, you can model in uh, 1 to 3D design in two ways. And one way is to design as um, solids, as uh, so-called primitives. Here they are. And the other way is to design through 2D sketches, which is much more powerful and a bit more complicated. So we start with uh, the pretty straightforward method of um, modeling with primitives. How you do that in 1 to 3D design is, for example, I take a box and I'm sorry, I clicked on the box and you will see it wants to snap to the grid, which is good. And I also can change the size. I have to do that before I place the actual object. So let's make this 15 and with the tap I can go to the other, to the width and I also make the height 15. And as soon as I press enter it is where it is. If I now take a cylinder I have to do that again. Please put it on the intersection of some grid lines because it uh, is going to be useful for our actual positioning because I want to make a hole in this cube and I cannot really put it on the same point because then it wants to snap to the to the cube which is a kind gesture but mainly I find that annoying. So make the radius 5 I'm sorry, let's make the radius 5 and then I put it over here to move this cylinder to the cube I can click it once so there is a blue outline and now I can do move and then you have all these directions here and I move it in this direction uh, 50 that's apparently the distance now for the grid lines and I can zoom in like this oops that was a bit too far Um, okay, if you lost everything, you can zoom to fit and then the objects uh, fit in your window. So I will also move it now to in the set direction so it uh, goes out on both sides. You can rotate your view by uh, pressing the right mouse button so you can see that it's coming out, looking out um, from all sides. And we basically put it on the same um, point. I still have to do enter to close off the uh, command and I just click somewhere so the tool menu um, goes away. I have now the perspective uh, view mode which is nice for viewing but it's a bit annoying for um, more technical uh, view on things. So you can change that here with the little drop down menu and then you go to auto graphic which changes and this straight uh, projection. You can also change your view here. So here you have this uh, view cube. So if you look at it from the top, you see that it's uh, it looks pretty much in the middle. Now I can combine these two uh, shapes by, okay, I do again, zoom to fit. Uh, for example, if I, mm, I'm sorry, I have to think a little bit. Yeah, combine. And then I have a target solid, uh, which is the cube. And I have a source solid, which is the cylinder. And now I can choose several options. I can make them join together. I can subtract one of the other. Or I um, leave the, uh, the volume that they both have in common. For now I do subtract, uh, followed by an enter. And then I have a hole in the cube. Uh, this hole is pretty much what it is. I cannot really move it to my knowledge. Let's see, can I tweak it? Yeah, okay, I can still move it a little bit. Uh, that's good, so that's how you move it. If you just, I will do it again for you. Click away. It takes a bit of clicking fine feeling. <laughs> 
Fingerspitzengefühl. So you just click as long as you have until you have the hole selected, which is not as easy as it looks like. Okay, now I have it. Then you have this little gear symbol. So here you have to tweak for moving it. Uh, I can press pull it to make it uh, smaller and bigger. And this is the shell command and that I don't understand what it's doing here. If I don't want to have this hole anymore, then I can select it and delete it. Bam, then it's away. So that is how you can build up a more complex model from relative uh, simple shapes called primitives. And that's how it works in um, 1 to 3D design.